Well, my name is Sofia Kachor and I'm the Executive Director of, the, of Osaredok Ukrainian Cultural and Educational Center. One of the exhibitions in the gallery is The Art of Revolution, the Political Aesthetics of Euromaidan. We don't know the names of the artists, but uh, during the protest movement that began at the end of November in Kyiv, uh, various individuals, artists, graphic artists, designers, architects, uh, kept producing uh, posters uh, to reflect what was happening, to reflect uh, uh, ideas and issues involved, and of course to press artistically what some of the people were feeling. This particular uh, group of 50 posters is, uh, reflects November 21st uh, when uh, the Ukrainian government uh, refused to sign uh, an agreement on European integration. The demonstrations began uh, a, a day or so before the uh, deadline for signing the agreement with Europe and these posters reflect support for becoming integrated into the European community. When the government sort of reneged on, on that, uh, then we have the, the theme of the posters change. Here's a reaction of what people thought about Putin when he said no to European integration. One of my favorites is uh, Yanukovych, President Yanukovych uh, as, as a clown. Uh, he, it's interesting because clown, you know, people say, well, we know you're a clown, you're funny, your politics are clownish. But at the same time, clowns can also be very sad uh, individuals. The movement became about a change in government, a change for a free, dem really free democratic society. So the, the protest is more about civic society, creating civic society, democracy, citizens' dignity. And their, and their future. And that's why I like these two posters. It says, this one says in Ukrainian, I'm a drop of water in the ocean. And the next one to it says, I'm a drop of, uh, of water in the ocean that will change Ukraine. If there's lots of drops of water, we can create a tidal wave and change is possible. This one I like as well. It's an image of a little girl probably wearing a, you know, like a wreath like Ukrainian dancers wear. And all it says on, on the posters is, for my daughter. I think this section is important because on November 30th is the first time that the police actually uh, attacked uh, the protesters with batons and beat people up. And the response to that was a whole new series of, of posters that indicate that. And finally, I like this one. A lot of people like this one because it's, it's appealing from an emotional perspective, but it's also depicting compassion on Maidan and uh, a sense of community. So, you know, no matter what kind of people are within that heart, they're all about the same thing. They're all supporting, supportive of each other. And uh, they're there to make a future happen as best as they can, but together and united. It's people who make up a nation. That's what Maidan is all about.